Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Today, it's kind of a gloomy, cloudy day outside and it's rainy. Whenever that happens, I always like to cuddle up with a nice cup of tea. So I thought I would share how to make tea three different ways. The first thing that I have to do, no matter what kind of tea I'm making, or how I'm making it, is I need to heat up some water. I like to use my nice tea kettle here on the stove. You may also have an electric kettle at your house that you plug in, and you may also use the microwave to make your water hot. However you choose, it's fine. I'm going to get mine started. We'll just let the water get hot over there while I show you how to prep your tea bags and your tea cups. So I have three different cups because again I'm making tea three ways. The first way is the way that we do it in the classroom most often. I have a lovely uh, chamomile tea with honey, it's called Queen Bee if anybody wants to see that. This is delightful and very relaxing. This one, I already have a tea bag, it has the tea inside, it's already made, mm, it smells so good. All I need to do is put the tea bag in the cup. And I'm waiting for my hot water for that one. Put that there so we know that's our chamomile. The second way, this is called loose leaf tea. It's tea that's just in a bag. It's not in a tea bag at all. I don't know, can you see in there? There's some herbs and fruits and things like that. You can see there's, there's no container around that tea. I have to do that myself. So let's see, so I have a little holder for my loose leaf tea. You may or may not have something like this in your house. There's plenty of different kinds. So I'm going to take a little bit of my loose leaf tea and put it into, into this space here. You just put as much as you really want to drink. If I put more tea in there, it'll make the tea stronger. Less tea, it won't taste as strong. You can see, there we have the loose leaf tea in there. Okay. Put that in the cup and we wait for our hot water. Now the last kind of tea. I love doing this. It's a little bit difficult to do. You need a mortar and pestle here. The mortar and the pestle. You also need an additional, or whatever the other part is, your, another way to steep the tea, because it'll end up being loose leaf tea. So I have this one, as well as my other kind. And you need some loose spices, herbs, flowers, uh, whatever you think would taste good to grind up. So for me, right now I have some dried ginger and I have some dried hibiscus flour. I love hibiscus in anything. So hibiscus ginger tea is a lovely combination. I've also done chamomile and like lemongrass. You can look up any kinds of flavors you might want to try. So I'm going to put just a little touch of ginger first. The ginger is very difficult to grind, so I will do that one first because the flowers are kind of easy. Ginger is also pretty strong, so I don't need to put a lot in there. Just a few will do. Can see, it's not very much. Now I've got to use my muscles to crush it. You can 
see. Oh, it's falling down, sorry. Every time I try to show you, it falls. Uh, there it is. It's getting a little bit uh, more crushed, but I need to do more. Okay, it's looking really good. You can see those little pieces in there. It's time to add the hibiscus flower. I wish I could share the smell of this tea with you. Now I'll load it up into my little device to brew my tea in. And if you have some left over, that's great. You can just put it in a little jar and you'll have more delightful tea left over for another time. Mine fits though. There it is. Put that one in there. All right. Now to clean off the mortar and pestle, really what I'm going to do is just take a slightly damp sponge. I have one right here I can get ready at my sink. And I can just wipe it off. You don't need to do too much with this kind of thing. You can Maybe you can see the remnants of the, especially the flower. So yeah, I do need to kind of get that out, but I don't need to use any soap at this moment. My sponge is getting the color from the hibiscus flower. And then I'm going to add my water to each of my cups and I'll set a timer for about five minutes to let my tea steep, which means that hot water comes in through the herbs in the tea bag or the different tea strainers that I have added to my cups. And the hot water comes in through there and swirls through all the herbs and all the delicious things that I've put in and takes that flavor and puts it in the water. That's called steeping or brewing your tea. And it's very important to do it for at least five minutes so your tea will taste so good. Also, your water is really hot, it'll let the water cool down a little bit before you taste it on your tongue. Let's check on the water. I'm starting to see some steam. Let's see, I wonder if I can show you. Can you see that steam coming out? There's some steam. Kind of see it. That means it's pretty hot. And even though it didn't whistle, it's ready to go. turn on my timer for five minutes. You can easily set your timer with your um, clock, a phone, use your watch, use your oven, 
Maybe you have a turn sand timer that you can use in your home. Totally anything works. I'm going to just sort of stir around my tea, especially the ones that are brewing that I have pre-mixed. I'll show you what's happening in each one. So this one has the single tea bag. You can see that. That chamomile tea is going to be a nice light colored tea. This is the loose leaf that I had to put into that container. You can see it's brewing. That's also a light color. This one has a spice called turmeric in it, which is a little spicy and it's given that yellow color to it. It also has some pretty good things called like um, apple and cranberry in there too. So it's a tasty tea. And this one, this one is the most colorful because of the hibiscus. A lot of children in my class love hibiscus. See, look at that beautiful color. It can make things a deep pink or purple color and it's a really lovely taste. So I recommend hibiscus tea for just about anything. So the timer is about to go off. I will turn the timer off when it beeps so you see that. And I'll show you how to take out all of your different tea steeping devices. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. My tea's ready. <sighs> Taking out the tea bag, be gentle, be careful, it can be hot. And I just have a little plate here that I'll put it onto before I can put it in the trash. And this one, ooh. This is a really fun one. I actually get to push this to squeeze my tea out. Oof. I enjoy this. All the water's gone, okay. Now it's time for me to enjoy all of my many teas. I hope you have a great time making tea at home. Bye.